Welcome to RaikurKul.com. In this video, we'll discuss about ATD, that is Acceptance Test Driven Development. This is an analogous to test driven development. Acceptance test driven development involves team members with different perspectives like customer development, testing, collaborating to write acceptance tests in advance for implementing the corresponding functionality so ATD is a very important as a part of test driven development so we'll discuss here what is ATD then what is the goal of ATDD how does it works and their benefits so if you are visiting this channel first time consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for further update and if you want to learn software testing in detail please watch my complete software testing playlist I will include in my description tab. So what is ATDD? So let's start by telling you what ATDD is not. It's not a testing technique despite what its name might suggest instead of acceptance test driven development is a programming technique similarly to its cause in TDD. ATDD puts test automation front and center when adopting it, teams will use automated test cases to drive the development of the production code. This helps us to do our job or testing job quickly. This is also minimizing our resource effort and time take during the testing. ATD is team effort. It brings different players in software development process, testers, engineers, business stakeholders together to collaborate easily ATD also help us to capture all of the scenarios easily so here ATD will be built by any users or any team of users who is performing testing so how does it works so let's consider for example here if we have few user story to be covered within the team Let's consider any product that we started building and within that product development, there are certain member of team members are working together. So first, what they will do, they will discuss and post discussion. They will distill. It means that they will filter it out, which all contains, they will pick it up. And after that, they will start building that process. First, they will analyze it, which all components we can take it and which is doable if they will think the roi of this process is high not much then they will might be deferred that process so first they will analyze depending on several factors like time duration then the return on investment and the effort which they are making is valuable or not for future growth and even if they are started implementations they will analyze on several application and which we can take it which we cannot take it these all factors that we involved here post that discussion they will filter out some of the components to start with and based on the priority and timeline then they will start building this process and once this process will be completed they will do that demo and once the demo has been done they will trigger this process and complete or mark as completed these user stories. So this is a complete process. It is working like this in similar type of structure. Now, there are four main steps covering this process. First is discuss during the planning meeting common to virtually all methodologies or frameworks under the Agile umbrella, testers and developers will discuss this task or user stories picked for the implementation for the next iteration or sprint with the stakeholders, product owners, client in order to extract as much information as possible. From then, also the discuss fees might lead the team to find it out what seems like a simple user story is in fact much more complex. Second is Phase is distill. This consists of converting the test produced in the previous steps to format compatible 
with whatever acceptance testing tool we happen to be using depending on the tool those formats include tables wiki pages or even code in a dsl that is domain specific language so that the output of this fees are the acceptance test however they are not quite ready for execution as we will see next is develop they will start implementing this process and with best practices and exercise the application code and after the developer implement the features they demo it to the stakeholders having meeting at the end of each cycle in which the team discuss the product or how to improve the process itself is a very common feature of many agile methodology so the demo phase of ATDD fits nicely with that what are benefits of ATDD is ATD promotes a shared understanding of complete so when the whole team is involved in creating the requirements for the end goal there is a lot more clarity on what the finished project should look like no time is wasted on miscommunication unmet expectations or last minute changes due to lack of understanding what the end users ATD closes the loop between products and dev teams by nature, this method involves bringing multiple teams, importantly, the BAT, that is business analyst team, QA team, quality analyst team, or testing team, and the dev team to help make the project as successful, defect free. If the product is quality based, the definitely the end user will like their product. If that product contains a lot of bugs, definitely they will start avoiding using that product. The beauty of this type of collaboration option is that the development team can go into the project and with a clear picture of any user needs in mind. ADDD increase efficiency in the development process. Starting with a clear understanding of specific requirement can speed up the development process significantly. What is the difference between TDD, BDD, ATD? So TDD is a development technique focused on individual units of desired feature. BDD is a development technique focused on expected behavior and development technique focused on meeting the needs of the user is ATDD. Which all participants we have in TDD is the developer. BDD contains developers, customer and QA. ATD is having developers, customer and QA, all three. Language use in TDD is written in programming language used for feature event example java python etc bdd is gherkin simple english atd is again gherkin simple english then understanding tests so tdd is written by for developers test written for anyone to understand is bdd test written for anyone to understand is atd focus of tdd is unit test and focus of BDD is understanding the requirement and ATD is writing acceptance test. That's all from this video. Let's recap this content. We have started with what is ATDD. Then we have discussed about their process, what are benefits, and finally the difference between TDD, BDD, and ATD. So hope you enjoyed the content. If you think so, this will be useful. Don't forget to share within your circle. Thank you for watching.